Good morning everybody. It's Amanda here from Mrs G Makes. Here in the UK we're having another um, crazy mini heat wave. It's Monday the... Nope, it is Thursday. Is it Thursday the 11th of August? That's what I want to say. Yeah, so Thursday the 11th of August and we've been having a bit of a crazy summer. Um, with some sporadic heat waves and I think it's going to be at least 29 degrees today but having thought about it I have a sneaky suspicion I saw on the weather forecast last night that it was over uh, 30 today so I'm trying to do this video before lunchtime before it gets too hot and I think I may just be lying in a cool dark room somewhere for the rest of the day because the heat doesn't necessarily agree with me that much. Look at me, I've just realised, oh, I can hear better now. Um, I've been catching up with a couple of other people's vlogs. Um, this morning I've been watching Ruan from the Yorkshire So Girl. I do love Ruan. I think she's just really, she's very entertaining very entertaining uh, and I think we might have a similar ish body shape so I'm always interested to see you know the patterns that she um, sews up you know I think that if they suit her then maybe uh, it's worth giving um, them a try for myself also today I can say what I am wearing because I am wearing a handmade dress a me made dress this is the Tilly in the Button Sky dress that I made at the beginning of the year for my um, holiday with Mr G. Um, we had a summer holiday in January and this dress was perfect. I'll give you a little look. It has pockets, which is my most favorite thing about this dress. And it's cool and it is just super, super comfy. And I really should make, I was thinking this morning when I put it on, I really should make uh, another one because it's, it's just so comfortable in the hot weather to wear. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most flattering of dresses for my body shape, but when it's hot and um, you want to be cool, this dress is perfect. The fabric was from a So Haley Jane a luxury box from last year and I have seen it on a couple I can't even begin to think which website it would be but I have seen it um, on a couple of fabric shop websites online uh, I think it's also available in a jersey this is a cotton um, but really really nice really nice I decided it was too hot for a coffee. Believe it or not, it's not very often that I decide it's too hot for a coffee. So I've gone for an iced coffee instead. Popped a little bit of caramel syrup in there for sweetness. Mm, yummy. So today I am bringing you the So Haley Jane unboxing. My box was delivered this morning and your eyes are not deceiving you. This box is smaller than normal. It's also a different colour. Normally it's a white box. This is a brown box. This is the mini box. Each month I talk about the different options that Hayley offers uh, on her subscription. Uh, and just to remind you, there is the mini box, there is the classic box and the luxury box. And for the past 12 months, I've had the luxury box at a cost of £65 and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Within that box, there was, uh, you would receive approximately three and a half metres of a luxury fabric. There would also be um, a sewing pattern included and also five fat quarters and I loved it. I have no criticism 
of that box at all. But we're all looking to, or many of us are looking um, at ways that we can just, you know, save a little bit of money on our finances with all the cost of living rising so incredibly fast this year. And I also thought that I have an awful lot of fabric that I haven't yet made or I haven't yet used that I've received in the boxes. And I really need to start using that more. So I thought, let's kill two birds with one stone. Not increase my enormous fabric stash with continuing to receive three and a half metres of fabric each month and also save a few pennies um, by going for the mini box at just £20, which I have a feeling, you know, I will be absolutely delighted with it and, and think that it's a bargain. So let's get inside my mini box and see what I get. So just like in the luxury box, you're presented with the gorgeous bright yellow tissue paper. So straight away that brings a smile to your face, doesn't it? Especially on a hot sunny day like today. So here we go. Oh, in the box. Magazine, just like you get in the classic and the luxury box. So no different there. And this month is called the theme is spots and dots. Always lots uh, to look at in the magazine and read. Lovely introduction from Hayley. An interview this month with the Lemon Patch. She makes fabric labels by the looks of it. Then... Um, a make of the month and this one is from Siobhan and she made the saguaro set uh, from the Friday Pattern Company which funnily enough Ruan um, talked about in her vlog that I've just been watching this morning. These are very popular uh, and then three boxes three makes so you know people have received the fabric Three, three people receive the fabric and, and make things from it to give you ideas of what you two could make with the fabric. There's a Fat Quarter project from Tamlin. Project ideas. Oh, that's beautiful. Sorry, I should show you, shouldn't I? So this is a subscriber profile and um, this was the luxury fabric from last month absolutely gorgeous and I be wonder what that dress that is is that a salt water slip dress because again that is something that I've seen again lots of people make uh, so I'm gonna have to check what dress that is because that looks beautiful doesn't it that looks really really nice right look at that later you always get a sweet treat mm -mm -mm. jazzles of course with the theme of dots and spots these sweets are the perfect uh, sweet for that oh, iced coffee and jazzles sounds like the perfect afternoon doesn't it we have a Zip, oh, an invisible zip. So this is a haberdashery item. You always get a haberdashery item to add to your stash. And uh, I've got a little box um, up here. You know those suitcase, mini suitcase sets that you can get? Um, 
I think I got these from the works many years ago and they come as a set of three and I pop bits and pieces in there from uh, that I've had from past boxes so that I know where they all are so I'll pop that zip in there now so you can put a label on the side that says sewing bits so when it's up on there I don't forget what I've put in it Oh, the fat quarters this month. Monochrome theme to them. So they would look quite nice. I like a, I want to make a sunglasses case. I think they would look, um, a sunglasses case would look nice in these fat quarters, wouldn't they? Hmm my brain thinking like those there is the color of my thread which gives you a clue as to the color of my fabric now I have never worked with this fabric before I know someone who will be very delighted with this and that is Michelle the sewing bunny because I believe that this is a double gauze. Is it a double gauze they call it? And she absolutely loves double gauze. It has that sort of crinkly effect. So plain on the inside and then on the outside you've got these little gold It's almost like gold glue dots, that kind of thing. So Michelle has made several blouses with um, double gauze and Ruan is also another fan of double gauze. She's made pajamas. Um, now, I think I've got a meter of fabric. That's a lot of fabric, isn't it? That is a lot of fabric. And actually, I'm not feeling overwhelmed or under pressure In the luxury boxes, I absolutely love the luxury boxes. And if money were no object, I think I would gladly continue receiving those. But the reality is I can get three months boxes for the price of one. Going for this size. And this is going to encourage me to try some different makes, some tops. And I definitely want to make some tops. Whereas when I received three and a half metres of luxury fabric, I would be less inclined to use that for a top. I would want to make a dress and I love dresses and I'm just, I seem to be procrastinating at the moment. Um, now I'm not saying I'm gonna stick with the mini box forever, but right now I think it will help on so many levels, including my headspace. Not having to think, oh, I've got that amazing pattern that's in the box. Um, you know, should I use the fabric that's come in the box to make that pattern? Or would any other fabric in my stash look good in that pattern? I've not got the five fat quarters. I've got three fat quarters. So again, I'm not keep adding to my um, stash. I feel like I might actually get to use the whole box each month and so I think I'm going to stick with the mini box for um, a short time at least I think at least three months because then I will have like I say spent the equivalent of what I would have done on one luxury box so I'm going to start looking for ideas I'm going to look forward to watching 
Michelle and Ruan's unboxing videos of because they get the classic box so they will have like I think two meters of uh, this fabric I also think it comes in different colorways from what I spotted in the um, magazine so I shall be watching with interest to see what they choose to make yes I think I think it comes in two different colours. Yes, because it looks like Esther made a skirt. Looks like she's got the same colour as me. Esther made that skirt. And then Gemma, she looks like she had a bluey colour. And she made a tie-waisted top there um oh happy days yes so am i happy with my very first classic uh, mini box yes i am happy with my mini box and i'm happy that i'm going to be saving some money and i'm happy that i'm saving um space within my craft room um not having to find as much room to store everything and I'm happy that my headspace is going to be less cluttered with trying to decide what to do with three and a half metres of fabric. Um, and I've set myself a new challenge of making something, you know, wearable tops. Um, <clears throat> let me know what you think. Do you get the, do you, are you a subscriber and which level uh, do you subscribe at? And let me know what you would uh, make with this fabric as well. If you had a metre, it is a metre, I'm sure, that I've got of this. Yeah, I've got a metre. Do you drop double gauze? Right, have a good day, everybody. Um, if you've got hot weather like us two here in the UK today, hope you manage to keep cool. I highly recommend an iced coffee. Mm. yummy <clears throat> have a good day everybody and thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all again very soon bye for now mm -hmm.